Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. It is the busy month of March in the baseball card collecting hobby. Tons of sets coming out leading up to opening day 2021. And I am back with another set review. And this time it is for the bold, the artistic, the young and rookie focused Tops Inception. So the question on every card collector's mind is, is this a set that we should buy up fast or is this the one that we should maybe take a hard pass? Well, there's only one way to find out. It is time for the One Cent Sports Cards 2021 Tops Inception Review and Set Guide. So here we are with another set guide, this one for 2021 Tops Inception. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in and what we are going to do in this set guide, which is the most in-depth set guide and review that you are going to find anywhere on the internet is try and figure out how good Tops Inception really is. The way we're going to do that, we are going to use the exclusive one cent sensational set ranking. What is that you ask? Well, that is where we rate every set from the 2021 card season on a scale of one to five stars. How do we get there? Well, first we're going to dive really deep into Tops Inception 2021. Like I said, it is the most in-depth ranking system you're going to find anywhere on the internet. It's the most in-depth because we actually rate the, the set into 10 different categories. Everything from cost, artistic value, um, you name it, we have it in there. The auto checklist. And each one of those categories is worth 1 to 10 points. 1 being low, 10 being high. And what we do is we add up all of those points, which will give us our 1 to 5 star ranking, which you can see over there on the left. Not only that, we're going to compare the 2021 set with the set that came out last year in 2020. And we're going to compare Inception to all of the other sets that have been released so far in the 2021 card season. So before we begin, if you like these set guides and reviews, be sure to throw me a thumbs up, throw over to first, hit that thumbs up button real fast. It is the best way that you can support the channel and be sure to subscribe so you can see all of the set guides, find out if they're the, uh, the sets that are coming out are ones that you should buy into, ones that you should pass, maybe ones that you should buy even more than you thought. And if you want to be the first to view them, be sure to hit the bell notification so you are notified as soon as I release these set guides and reviews. So let's dig in. For 2021 Tops Inception, we're going to cover off on the following highlights. First of all, we're going to do the 10,000 foot view of Tops Inception, cover off on what the overall set, set highlights have to offer. We're going, we're going to dive into the different buying formats that you can get this in. And then I'll dig a little bit deeper, show you the key cards, the key rookies, key parallels, uh, key, um, the key relics and stuff that you can find. And then I will even tell you which teams you should be buying into for breaks, which teams are going to be the best ones that you can get in breaks and even a few sleepers. Then I'm going to go into the opinion portion, tell you what I think that the set positives and the set negatives are for Tops Inception. And that will bring us to our one cent sensational set ranking where we will dive in deep and see how good Tops Inception really is. And we will finish it all off by comparing it to all of the card sets that have come out in 2021. So starting with the set highlights, the first thing you want to know about Topps Inception, it is, it is a highly artistic and stylized set, and it has a very, very heavy focus on rookies and today's young stars. It is a smaller checklist. It only has 100 cards in the base set checklist, but it also has 82 cards, um, a base auto checklist, which technically counts as part of the base set checklist. It is a very auto driven product. It is in its fifth year of production, started back in 2017. And for this year, we have a seven color base set parallel rainbow, just like we did in 2020. 
and it is only a hobby only release. So no need to stand in lines at Target and Walmart to find Topps Inception. You got to go to your LCS or go online. Every one of the cards is going to be printed on very nice quality, thick 120 point cardstock um, for or, or thicker for every one of the cards. In every hobby box, you're going to be guaranteed to get one autograph or auto relic plus two parallels. And like I mentioned before, this set is very much focused on rookies and emerging stars. But if you like the retired greats and some of the greats um, that maybe haven't made the Hall of Fame yet, there are some superstars that have retired that are featured in an auto checklist in one of the subsets in the subset auto checklist. There also is a heavy focus with this set on auto relics. So if you like patches with autos, this is a great set. There's all sorts of different relics that you can get. You're talking hats, socks, uh, batter logo patches, letters, buttons, uh, laundry tags, you name it. They've got all of it in this set. And there's also book cards available in this set and well as well. In fact, they have actually expanded some of those for 2021. And we also have some image variation autos that are available in the set. And maybe most importantly, it is the first higher end set of the year to be released by Tops. Not an ultra high end product, but definitely, definitely a higher end product compared to Tops flagship or something like that. So what are the different ways that we can buy in? Well, if you've got deep pockets, you can just go ahead and get yourself a hobby case. That's going to have 16 boxes in it. And in each box, there are seven cards, one pack. So you would get a total of 112 cards. Right now, those are going for about $2,650. So your cost per card, a hefty $23.66. But you are guaranteed to get 32 parallels, 16 autographs or autographed relics. Um, you will be also be guaranteed to get four Inception auto patch cards. One of the very popular silver signings autos will cover off on what all those are here in a bit. And you will get one auto jumbo patch or jumbo hat patch cards. Very cool cards cover off on all of that in a minute. But if your pockets aren't that deep, you can go the hobby box route, which means you're going to get one pack per box and seven total cards. The cost on that right now, around 174. I believe it's going to be a little bit lower um, here in a week or two. But right now you're sitting at 174. So your cost per card going to be $24.86. You're going to get four base cards, two parallel cards, and you're guaranteed to get one autograph or auto relic. So what are the key cards? Well, I'm pretty excited about the checklist for Topps Inception this year. First off, we have Cabrian Hayes, and this will be his first Topps rookie card that has been released. He has plenty of prospect cards, yes, but as a actual RC logoed rookie card, he was not in Series 1, so Cabrian Hayes is found in Topps Inception. So this is his first official Topps rookie card. We've got Dylan Carlson, Ryan Mountcastle, and showing up for the first time in a Topps rookie card as well, you've got Jake Cronenworth, Joe Adela's in the set, Joey Bart is in the set, uh, in the set. Alec Bohm makes an appearance, Christian Pache makes an appearance, and again, a first time rookie card from Topps Inception for Topps is going to be Alex Kirilov. And because we have some of the rookies um, and some of the autos that appear in the base set checklist, we have an auto for Devin Williams. He was the 2020 National League Rookie of the Year. This will be his first auto in a Topps product as a rookie. He did not have an auto last year. And we also have Jazz Chisholm showing up not as a true rookie card, but as an autoed rookie card here in Topps Inception as well. There's a few other ones that maybe aren't as big of names, but very much a lot of first rookie cards coming out for Topps Inception. So something to really keep note of if you're looking to buy into this. When we talk about parallels, autos, inserts, and relics, we've got a few of those too. So you've got the base and parallel rookie autos. We covered off on the base, but you can get parallels of those as well. And then the very popular silver signings autos. Those are all done with metallic ink. They are considered a case hit. And we have the Dawn of Greatness autos, which focuses on 
either retired stars or greats of the game and shows them back when they were a rookie um, back in the day. Those are very nice hits, uh, low numbered autos. And you also have the short print image variation autos. We'll cover off on that a little bit more here in a little bit. And new for this year, there's the game day gear, auto relic, and books for 2021. And finally, another thing to know, there are 10, yes, 10 different auto relic sets for 2021. So for the base parallels, not a huge parallel rainbow, but not bad. Very much like last year. Here's what you get. You get the green, which are considered limited, but they are not numbered. You have purple numbered to 150, magenta numbered to 99, red numbered to 75, orange to 50, blue to 25, and Inception will be your one of one hit in Tops Inception. Now we're going to go right into the autographs because there are no inserts for this set very much an auto driven set the first autos that you can find are going to be the base rookie and emerging star autos those are going to be the ones that are will be most common there's 82 cards in that set with the parallel rainbow that we discussed on the last page then we also have the inception dawn of greatness these are the ones of the um of the mlb greats there's 15 cards in that set, and they're each numbered to 20. But there is a parallel rainbow of orange to 10, blue to 5, and an Inception 1 to 1. And then you have the case hits. That's going to be the Inception, the Inception Silver Signings cards. 42 cards in that set. They should be numbered to 60 or less um, in the parallels on that. So the Silver Signings come in silver ink, but you can get a gold ink parallel numbered to 25 and a gold ink Inception numbered to one of one. Then we have the short print variation autographs, only eight cards in that set, but it is a fantastic checklist. Some huge names. I think you got Mike Trout in there. You've got some very big names. Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. I think Juan Soto's in there. Um, and they're each going to be numbered to 10 and there will be no parallels for those. Then we go into the autographed relics. Some very cool stuff that you can find in Topps Inception. The first, which is new for 2021, you've got the Game Day Gear Auto Relic Book Cards. Those are what you see over on the right. There's only 12 cards that are available, and they're each numbered to five, unless you get the parallel, which is going to be the Inception one of one. Then you have Inception Dual Auto Relic Book Cards. Only eight cards in that set. Very hard hit, only numbered to three, but they uh, also have a parallel inception one of one. Then you've even got auto game use socks. Nice and stinky for you. You've got 21 cards in that uh, auto relic subset, each numbered to three in a one of one parallel. And then you've got the jumbo hat patch cards, 28 cards in that set. They're each numbered to two. And then the parallel rainbows on that, you can get a MLB logo numbered to five, the new era logo numbered to five, or a team logo numbered to five. So some very cool um, patches you can get for hats in there. Then you've got the Inception Auto Jumbo Patch cards. There's going to be 27 of those cards in the subset, and you're get, they're going to land one per case. You can get parallels. There's going to be a red to 50, an orange to 25, a blue to 10, and an Inception 1 to 1. So a very nice hit there as well. And as we continue on with the relics, you can get the Inception Auto Laundry Tag book. There's only going to be 12 cards there, and they're all one of ones. Then you've got the auto letter book cards, which is what you see over at the right. There are 20 cards in that set. They're each going to be numbered to two apiece. Then you have the Inception MLB Silhouetted Batter Logo Patch Book Cards. Insane hits there. That's going to have the MLB uh, Silhouette Logo. Each, uh, each number to one of one and 13 cards available there. And you also have the Inception Auto Patch Cards. These are going to be the most common um, patch autos. 57 cards in that set with a green, magenta, red, orange, blue, which will have a button. And Inception 1 of 1, which will have a jersey logo on it parallel. And finally, we have the Inception Auto Team Logo Patch Book Cards. And that will have 16 cards in its set. And each of those will be numbered to 2 as well.
So pretty straightforward set, not a ton to unpack there. Lots of autos, lots of rookies. That's what you need to know. Um, but the real question is, is as you're buying into breaks, which teams are going to be the ones that give you the best chance for getting one of these big hits? So I have taken a look at all of the team set checklists and my very first team is going to be what I think is the best team to buy into, which would be the Atlanta Braves. First, with a 100 card base set checklist, they do have five cards. So that's 5% of the checklist and they have a robust 24 autos and they have seven relics and two rookie cards that are available. The big autos that you're going to be chasing are going to be Christian Pache and Acuna Jr. And the Braves are a very, very nice team. Very nice checklist. A tons of different Pache and Acuna Jr. Uh, autos that you can pull out of there. But if you're looking for your best chance at an auto, look no further than the Chicago White Sox. They also have five base cards, three uh, or and 30 autos and two rookie cards, just like the Braves. And the main autos you're going to be chasing there is the Nick Magical rookie auto and the second year Luis uh, uh, Robert auto. So that is the Chicago White Sox. But if you're looking for a solid choice that may cost a little bit less, I would look no further than the Philadelphia Phillies. They also have five base cards, 24 autos, two rookie cards, and the two big chases for the autos are going to be Alec Bohm and Spencer Howard. But if you ask me, the team that's going to be end up being the most valuable, even if it might not be the most expensive one, is going to be my favorite team, the Los Angeles Angels. Now they only have four base cards and 18 autos and one rookie card, but they do have plenty of Joe Adele autos throughout this set. And Mike Trout has three different autos that you can pull in this set. Obviously Mike Trout holding a ton of value and Joe Adele autos going for a premium right now. So I think the Angels actually hold the most value in this set. But I also have a couple sleepers for you. My first sleeper going to be the Miami Marlins. Not a lot of base cards, only three. But they have a robust 23 autos and two rookie cards and tons of rookie card autos. And they even have in that Dawn of Greatness set, Miguel Cabrera, um, Dawn of Greatness autos and Christian Yelich. Both of them started with the Marlins. Um, and so you have some very nice uh, a future hall, a first ballot future Hall of Famer, and if Christian Yelich keeps it up, a very nice auto you can pull there, plus tons of rookie card autos that you can pull from the Marlins. And my last sleeper is going to be the Detroit Tigers. Now they've got three base cards, they've got 17 autos and two rookie auto and two rookie cards in the base set as well. And the big and the big names you're going to be chasing there are Tyreek Skubal and Casey Mize. Um, granted, they are a couple of pitchers, but I think you could get the Tigers for a lot cheaper than a lot of these other teams. And I think you've got a decent chance when you look at their auto checklist of getting some pretty good hits, especially with Mize having multiple autos in there, Tyreek Skubal having multiple autos. So those are the teams that I would be targeting in breaks. So what are the overall set positives of this. I believe that one of the big things about this set is the fact that it is a very bold design. It is has tons of color. It is artistic. It is the closest thing to a like color splash panini thing that you're ever going to find from tops. They, it, they take a lot of risks um, and they really push the envelope with the artistic um, value of this set. And it also has a fantastic um, rookie card lineup for 2021 um, in the base set as well as the base auto set. The base auto set has a ton of people that you're not going to find in the base set, um, but all of your big rookies have autos in this. We have a bunch of rookies that we did not have in Series 1 making their first rookie card appearance here in Topps Inception. Really excited about that Cabrian Hayes rookie card definitely one that I would be looking for there. And I like that this is a great entry product into the higher rank card mar market for tops. Although it is an expensive box that you only get seven cards. It is not 
a $1,500 or $30,000 box, but it definitely is a nice entry point into that card collecting arena, and you can still get them for relatively inexpensive. And I say relatively based on today's um, market that we have in the card collecting hobby. I also like that they expanded the book card lineup for 2021. It offers a few more additional big hit chases throughout the set, and it's going to have a relatively low print run compared to every other set that has been released so far in 2021. Um, obviously, we have a lot of flagship stuff. This will have a much lower print run than all of that. You can tell by the um, pared down parallel rainbow and the fact that some of the uh, and the fact that some of the hits are all low numbered you don't see a ton of stuff numbered to like 499 or 999 stuff like that um my other thing is one of my favorite inserts in this set is that dawn of greatness auto subset they are beautiful cards you can see what they look like over there on the right some huge names that you can pull out of there Derek jeter being one of them um, and it just is nice that even though there's a ton of focus on the set uh, and having rookies and all of the young stars that they have not completely forgot about the stars that came before them but with every set positive we also have some negatives one of the first things i would say is when you look at the card design from 2020 and 2021 not a ton of difference to be fair tops inception kind of always has this very artistic color splashy type look um, but not a ton of difference between the set last year and this year from a design perspective and I also think that with the price of the box, the value that is found inside of the box, the actual cards that are going to be pulled out of it, it's a little bit too dependent on finding one of those big hits. Um, some of them, based upon the auto checklist, are just not going to have a great value to cost ratio. Uh, in other words, there's going to be some dud boxes. You're, the one auto that you get out of the seven cards, not everyone is going to get that Mike Trout auto. Some of them are going to get some rookie names that are much smaller, and the autos are really what drive this set. So if you get a dud, um, there's not a lot in the parallels unless you hit a really low number parallel that's going to make up that value. Um, the other thing is the base cards don't tend to carry a ton of value on the reselling platforms. Obviously, the bigger hits do. Some of the bigger autos, of course, are going to hold their value. But when you look at some of just the base cards that you'll find in here, they're not going to carry. They probably will not carry much um, more value than a Topps flagship product. They might not even hold that much. Um, there's just not, it's kind of a soft market for the base set checklist. Another thing to mention because of the state of the card hobby right now, we're in uncharted waters for sure, but there has been a big cost creep on this set over the course of the last two years. Right now, boxes cost more than double of what they cost just two years ago, and they're about double from what they cost last year. So not a big fan of the fact that there's a price creep on this set. And I also think that it's a very good checklist. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's just not a great set collector set. It's a smaller set. It doesn't hold a lot of re uh, a lot of secondary value for the base set. Um, so just not a great set collector set. So if you're someone that likes collecting sets, this might be one that you want to steer clear of, maybe buy some singles here and there. And the final thing is there's not a lot of new that has actually been released this year. There's a few new books that have been released, which is nice, but they, there's no inserts. There's um, a, not a lot that's been updated from the 2020 set. Would have liked to see them push the envelope a little bit more, but that's a little bit ticky tack. So those are the set negatives. So with all that being said, how does Topps Inception rate on the one cent sensational set ranking? Well, Let's find out. I've broken it down into 10 different categories, and here's how it breaks out. First of all, with appeal, I do believe that there is some appeal for Topps Inception, especially for the autos and the fact that you can get some really nice hits out of here. However, I do think it's also in a weird price point, especially with the cost creep, that not everyone can buy into this. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6.5. 
for the base set checklist. It is a strong checklist. I'm going to give it a 7.5. Um, would like to see them maybe take it out to 120 cards. I feel like there's some people missing, but if you're looking for rookies, a fantastic rookie base set checklist. Uh, when we get into the inserts and relics, well, there are no inserts, so I can't give it a really high score. But when it comes to relics, they have really, really done a great job in 2021 for Topps Inception. The relics are really strong. So I'm going to go ahead and give the inserts and relics category a 7. And for the parallels and variations, a very nice and tight parallel. Um, they are beautiful parallel uh, uh, Every one of the parallels has a beautiful color to it. Again, very artistic. I like the fact that it is only a seven color rainbow. And for the variations, they have included them. And you can get them in autos, which is fantastic. So I'll go ahead and give it a seven. And for the auto checklist, I'm going all the way up to an eight, uh, 8.5 on this. And even though there is a little bit of filler, the, I like the fact that there are a ton of first rookie autos throughout this set, even if they're not in the base set checklist. And people like Jake Cronenworth, Cabrian Hayes, they've got autos in here. So definitely, definitely, that's probably the biggest selling point for 2021 uh, Inception this year. So the auto checklist, very nice. Your pack odds and productions, not a completely limited and rare set. Um, some of the boxes will seem like duds. The odds are kind of long, but much better than they would be on a flagship set. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a seven as well. And for card quality, these are some of the nicest quality cards that you will find. Very nice, thick um, cardstock printed very well. Very beautiful cards. Nice showpiece looking cards. So I will go ahead and give that a nine. And then for historical value, I'm only going to give it a 5.5. And that is because a lot of the base cards and the higher end parallels are not as sought after as some of the other, you know, mid tier higher end sets. And it kind of falls into the no man's land on the secondary market. Obviously, some of the bigger hits and some of the bigger autos, they are going to hold a ton of value. But there's a lot of cards in here that are not going to hold the value that they think they that you think they will in a box that costs about 170 bucks and you're only getting seven cards out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a 5.5 for artistic value. I would love to go higher, but I'm only going 7.5. They are beautiful cards, but the fact that there is not much of an artistic update over 2020, nothing that looks dramatically different than last year. I'm only going to give it a 7.5. And for cost value, um, I'm going to go ahead and say it's a 4.5. I believe that this set should be cheaper, but the way that the hobby is right now, um, everything is going up because of supply and demand. And I do feel that these boxes should be cheaper. So for cost value, not a lot that I can say other than the fact that unless you can get this on the Tops website on the day it comes out, um, if you're buying it on the secondary market, I just don't believe that the cost and value of what you're going to get out of those boxes is going to be equal or somewhere around 75% or 80% of the value coming right out of the box. So as we add all of these scores up, where does Tops Inception rank on the one cent sensational set ranking? Well, its final score is a 70. So a middle of the road four star set. Like I said, if you are chasing rookies, a fantastic set to buy into. If you're interested in moving up into the higher card market, taking a little bit more of a gamble on some of these boxes and not getting a ton of cards out of it, but maybe getting a nice big hit, this is the set for you. If you like autos, if you like relics, that is the focus of this set, and some of them will be fantastic. Um, there's a few drawbacks. If you're a set collector, probably not your thing. If you like retail, um, probably not your thing. And if you're one of these people that is kind of mad at the hobby right now because of the price influx, probably want to stay away as well. So there are some hard passes for some of you out there, but I believe the vast majority of collectors, if they have the budget for this, I believe it's a very good set. So I'm going to go ahead and give it four stars for 2020. But how did it rank in 20 or, or for 2021? But how did it rank in 2020? 
Well, my score in 2020 was actually only a 62. Now, a lot of that was because of the way that we did this, the set rankings last year, and we had inserts, which were actually its own category last year. And because they didn't have any inserts, it only got a one in that category, which brought everything down a little bit. So I believe that it's kind of ranking right where the 2020 set would have ranked, um, but we have a significant improvement for 2021 over 2020. So how does Topps Inception rank amongst all of the other sets that have been released so far? It is a very young collecting season, not a ton of sets so far, but that is ramping up quickly. And this is how Topps Inception ranks. It comes in rated two, it should say two out of four, not two out of three, but out of the four sets that have been released so far in 2021, Topps Inception comes in second overall, right behind Top Series 1 with a score of 70. Top Series 1 had a 70.5, and we have Don Russ, which is coming out on a, 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 actually the day that I'm going to be releasing this video. It came out on Friday, the 12th of March. Um, Don Russ is down there with a, our first Panini product on the board at a 58.5. So, let me know in the comments below if you are getting in to Topps Inception this year, what you think of the product. If you think that my set review is wrong and if you want to tell me it's wrong, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what cards you're chasing. Love to get all of your guys' comments. I try and respond to all of them that are worth responding to. And if you like these reviews, remember, throw over to first, hit that like button for me. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be the first to see these reviews as they come out. We're going to be doing them all throughout the 2021 card collecting season. So with that, I want to wish you guys the best of luck on your personal pack rips of Topps Inception. We've got baseball right around the corner. I hope your guys' hope is springing eternal for your favorite baseball team. And until next time, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors. Take care.